Hello and welcome to Condition by Kia. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over seven leg day exercises that you can do with your door anchor and go fit cable system. Uh, remember, if you do not have a go fit cable system, any cables with handles work as long as you have a door anchor and you're able to work with that. Um, for this one, I do have my top door anchor set already and I have a dual bottom. So I'm going to start with the top ones and then I'm going to do the bottom ones after. So if you need to pause in between and swap that top anchor down to the bottom anchor, feel free to do that. Um, just to note, if this is your first time using the door anchor, I'm going to zoom in up, up here on that corner there. But you're going to want this door anchor above that top hinge right here for safety, as well as on the bottom one, you're going to want that door anchor on the bottom just below the bottom hinge instead so that when you're pulling it up, you have that safety of the hinge holding it as well. And if any reason you feel nervous about the door swinging back at you, um, you can put a heavy box, a heavy weight, something that's going to block that door from coming back at you, but usually the door is pretty stable. So let's go ahead, let's get started on this. So this first exercise is going to be alternating back lunges. Now yes, you can do this without a door anchor, but the door anchor actually helps with assisting on the back posture, so that way you can really focus in on the quads, hamstrings, and glutes. So you're going to want to grab your cables, make sure that they're nice and tight right here. You're getting into like that half squat position here, and when you come down, your back is at kind of a forward lean, and you are pulling those cables a little bit tight. And when you come back up, your knees are still in that half squat position, or quarter squat, I guess you could say. Then you're gonna just alternate, keeping your back forward and really focusing in on flexing those quads. Now, you don't want your knee to be tapping the floor, but you're gonna be just above the floor. And if that is really too much on that flexion on the knee and you get knee pain, you could do straight leg versions as well. And what I like to do with the straight leg version is I roll my foot back a little, so that way it gets the calf stretched as well. But I'm gonna do 20 alternating here. This also helps with balance as well. Fifteen here. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. And bring that up. Alright, so the next one is going to be door anchor squats. Again, you don't necessarily need door anchors for your squats, but it does help with your posture. Again, just like the back lunges. It helps for it helps you to perfect that back posture when doing your squats. And also it helps you get a little bit lower if you're not used to going super low. So you want to hold that anchor or the cables until they're a bit tight. Come down. Now this is where most people usually stop with dumbbells because the dumbbells kind of drag them down and they're being brought forward by the dumbbell. With the cable, you can go all the way down here into a nice 90 degree. And this hold on the cable helps you keep your back nice and straight, helps you work on those muscles so that way you can really get deep squats with dumbbells later. So go nice and deep, one, making sure you don't block the knees on the top but you keep going, three, down low, up and squeeze the glutes, don't let go of that glute flexion. Now one thing I see a lot of people doing is they come forward and when you do this, you actually lose all that activation in the glute muscles here. So it's so much better just to keep that activation nice and strong by keeping it tight when you come back up. Five, six, get low, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, right there. 
All right, so this next one is going to be pistol squats. So there's two different ways I'm going to show you how to do this. The first one, well, they're both going to use a chair, but the first one you're going to be facing this way. And one leg out in front of you. And you're just going to sit into your chair. It doesn't have to be a deep chair. Use the cables as assistance to help you come back up. We're just going to do 10 on each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more on this leg. And 10. Swap legs. Now the other leg is here. Get down to your bench and bring it up. Now if you notice my knee is not going a full 90 degrees, but it is getting that nice challenge. And this is great for beginners doing pistol squats. If you're not a beginner and you have that leg strength nice and ready, you don't really need the chair. You just need to hang on to those cables and that will be your only assistance. 10 there. Now this is another way you can do them. Now I'm gonna move my chair the other direction. And this one is gonna be the second version. So you can use a chair, just make sure you have the back side out a different way. Or you can use a bench, but I'm gonna start with this one actually. So instead of having your leg right next to the bench, take a decent step out. So imagine your shoulder width, your foot, and the bench. I'm gonna put like a little screenshot right there in the corners off. So your foot in your bench is about shoulder width. Now from here, this leg is gonna stay on the bench. And yes, it does put your knee into a different kind of flexion right here, but it does help assist in bringing it back up if you're not ready for those other ones. So you hang onto the cable and you bring it up. And you're still getting that more of a flexion into that almost pistol squat. But you're working the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings. So this is like a double assist. towards the bench, you're kind of aiming the glutes in between your leg and the bench, if that makes sense. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten right there. So from here, if you do not have your door anchor on the bottom, pause it and give it a swap. But as I already have mine up there, I'm just gonna leave it there and move my bench out of the way. So these next four exercises actually require the ankle straps. If you got the GoFit cable system, they come with two of them, so you'll be set already. If you only have one of these, that's okay. It's the last exercise, you'll have to kind of do one leg at a time instead of two. But the first one, we're just gonna use these. So my greatest trick, put them on your ankles first. So instead of attaching them to the cable and trying to balance out, just strap them up to your ankles first thing, and then you can clip it on, and then it'll be so much easier on you. And then you're going to swing those out to the back part. Now when you get to the cable, all you have to do is line it up. Just make sure that your cable was actually evened out first. So now you are connected right here. First one I call low runners. So make sure that the cable is tight. Like right here, it's already tight. Take one foot step forward so it's really tight on the right leg. And then you're gonna bring it up to the knee and back down. Keeping it to that tight level right here, you have to find the right spot for your foot. So that's the return spot right here. And make sure your return spot is tight. So you come up one to that return. Make sure your return doesn't get that cable loose but you want it tight. Three, four, you're working this quad right here and this quad. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now look, even out those feet so that way you have the same tension. Drop back the other one and make sure that's in a tight spot on the cable. And do the same thing. One, two, three. Making sure that when you get back, your cable stays tight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now I'm not going too fast here because it's all about the control. 13, 14, 15. And those ones are low runners. The next one is for your inner thighs. So you're gonna wanna take this off on one leg and you're just gonna join it with the other leg. So now both legs or both cables are attached to one ankle. Keep that ankle strap here. I'm gonna angle myself here. From here, that cable needs to stay tight. This leg is somewhat bent, ready to go, like a side lunge almost. Bring it in and tap, and back in. So think of these kind of like a slider. So imagine if your foot was on a slider, and you're skating. Three, four, five, six. These are inner thigh pull-ins. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now the second variation, you bring that other foot out just a slight bit more, you'll find the right spot for you, and balance as you pull that in. It's still another version of a pull-it. It's still another version of a pull-in. Make sure when you come in, you're squeezing nice and tight. And just a side note, if you do not feel the muscle being pulled, change the cable and make it a bit more challenging. Because if it's not a challenge, it's not gonna be as efficient for your time. 15 there. Step it in. Now the easy thing, because you already have them attached, then you're just gonna swivel yourself and hook them both in, just like that. So the next one is a donkey kick. You're gonna want that ankle strap attached to the bottom right here. <laughs> with one cable attached to one ankle strap. So from here, get into kind of like a mini squat, unhinge those knees, ready to go. Use the door frame for balance at first if you need to. Find that right spot. And we're gonna do some donkey kicks. Knee lines up to the other knee right here. So when you're going, your knees are lined up right here, just like that. And then bring it back. And whenever you're ready, take your hand away or keep it there. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then, of course, you want to switch sides. So, keeping your feet kind of where they were, grab you your balance, knee lines up with the other knee, take it back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So the next one is going to be leg curls. If you only have one ankle strap, you can connect both of these to the same ankle strap. But if you have two, this makes it a little bit easier here. And just do one leg at a time if you have one. So to keep these from shifting that even cable you already have, hold them both tight as you clip into that kneeling position here. Drag your foot forward so they're both tight. 
and then kind of loop yourself around. Trick is keep that cable tight. Drop to your knee here, but it'll keep it there. So in that little side corner, I'm going to show the other side of the door anchor with my feet as well. So you can see a closer look at where my feet are exactly with the relation to the door anchor. So from here, instead of staying up on your elbows and curling in, you actually risk pinching nerves in your lower back. Drop your elbows so your chest is lower to the ground and your back is more flat. Then from here, you can curl it out, making sure when you come back with the cable, they're still tight, and then you bring it all the way up to 90 degrees on your knees. Two, three, control the down force, and that will get you more results in your hamstrings and less risk of injury. this is when you would swap and do the other leg. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you like those exercises and are able to incorporate them within your own workout routines. Um, next week, next Wednesday, I'll be posting a multi-joint seven exercises. So that way you can combine upper body and legs together. So make sure you subscribe and like if you like this video and stay tuned for the next week's video, which is gonna incorporate upper and lower with the door anchor. But as always, I hope you have an awesome and wonderfully blessed day, and I hope to see you in the next one.